Do you some good stuff? It's the one. Okay. <clears throat> so what we just saw was uh, me practicing the drum line for the song Fetish. It was a little bit difficult to, to really hear what was going on because electronic drums don't make any sound outside of the module they have over here. But I got it dialed in really nicely for uh, the kind of sound that I want on the drums for this particular song. Um, basically you're going to follow the same patterns as was done originally, just try to make them sound better. Uh, with a setup like this you don't have a lot of the, uh, ambient noise and the weird harmonics that you do using an acoustic kit. It makes it a little bit easier to dial in. Most of the work is already done inside the module before it ever even gets to the recorder. So once it's on there, just a little bit of tweaking during mix down and, and you have a really nice tight awesome drum sound. Uh, I was a little resistant to the idea of getting electronic drums when we were first talking about doing it, but uh, after getting them and playing them, I am playing drums. This is There's no doubt about that, whether they're acoustic kit or an electronic kit, it's me playing. The only difference is on an acoustic kit, you have to do a whole bunch of processing after they're recorded. With an electronic kit, most of the processing is done before they're recorded. So. And the mic setup is easier too, you were telling me. The mic setup is a lot easier, where I would normally use all eight of the microphone inputs doing, uh, doing acoustic drums so that I could get a good, nice spread and uh, have a little bit of control over the individual kit. In this case, I'm only using half of that because uh, two, of the, two of the inputs are coming directly out of the module. And since I've added a couple of uh, acoustic cymbals, I've got a China Splash and, uh, China Splash. and uh, a China Ride over on this other side, um, both made by the Zildjian company. So I'm going to turn around so you can actually see it. But I like the sound of these two particular cymbals and uh, since they weren't in the original recording, I thought they might, they might be kind of cool to have them on here now. So, and these are the only two things that actually have microphones to them, so obviously we still can't be doing any talking during the recording process or the mics will pick them up. But so, you were saying, for those who don't follow along, uh, we got the idea from Carmine at Peace after seeing him play on that metal show right. when we visited the tapings for that as audience members. So we started kind of researching it and stuff. Because it was like, wow, you know, what is that cool symbol? And so that's kind of how that happened. Right. And uh, I knew I knew essentially what the symbols were. And these aren't the same brand that Carmine uses. But uh, we uh, we actually wound up chatting with him a little bit on Facebook. I think he uses Istanbul. He's got Istanbul. They're his own, uh, they're his own private. Uh, he named them. They're named Carmine and Peace Istanbul symbols. Um, and they're kind of pricey. Uh, I didn't feel like it was necessary to go that far, and since I usually use the Zildjian symbol on my recordings, and I've got I've actually got these electronic <coughs> symbols dialed in to sound very close to what my Zildjian ZBTs sound like. So having these two more Zildjians right here, they just kind of they blend in with the sound really nice. Uh, they don't sound too terribly different um, from the rest of the symbols on there, so you don't get any kind of a glaring. Well, that sounds good. That sounds weird. Nothing interferes with each other in the in the sound of the, of the symbols, and so uh, so anyway, I've just been uh, practicing a little bit just to kind of make sure that I got my chops up. Um, I need to kind of get my uh, levels dialed in for the uh, open air symbols here. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then uh, we'll start so recording. the mega death wristband isn't necessary. I probably don't need it. Um, in this particular case. It's so cool though. It is pretty cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is going to get a little bit noisy, so just... Uh... You want me to keep recording? Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. As they say on Skid Row, rolling! <laughs> 